hey homies back again with another video i know it's been a while but i'm back now showing you how to create this diy luxe frame so you guys first off i must confess i do have an obsession with framing artwork and photos uh, as you can see here in my gallery wall i have probably like 25 different frames and artwork um, i got artwork on my bookshelves all on the walls i even buy frames without even knowing what i'm gonna put in them that's that's how bad it's gotten and i even have things in the garage that i don't have any room for yet in the house but i'm gonna make room for them because that's how serious i am about framed artwork So to get started, I am using a frame that I already had and adding more embellishment to it to make it look like a completely new frame. I purchased this wood from Home Depot and had it cut to size, but I realized I gave the wrong measurements when I was at Home Depot. So I'm now using um, this miter saw in order to get it to the size I need. So for the next um, step is just applying the wood to the frame. I'm just using traditional hot glue because the frame I'm using is made of metal, the old frame. So hot glue was the best option. So at this point, I wanted to add a little bit more embellishment to the frame. So I'm adding base wood um, pieces that I found at my local art supply store. This just give this going to give a little bit of something interesting going on, a little 3D effect. Um, not too much. I'm just going to apply these on each corner of the frame. Okay, so after I laid out how, how I wanted the base wood pieces to look, I'm now using just some more hot glue to apply it to the frame. Now time for um, one of my favorite parts is the painting part where um, I want to make the whole frame one consistent color and I'm using a wood stain. Um, I have all the details of all the supplies I use in the description box below but I love this grayish stain and look it's going to match my walls perfectly so I'm just going to apply this all over um, all over the wood. So after letting the paint dry overnight, I moved on to creating a mat for the artwork. Now, I do not have a mat cutter. All I have is my hands, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, and some thoughts in order to make this work. Um, to get artwork framed and matted can be quite costly, so this is the next best thing. So y'all, at this point, I clearly made some type of mistake with my measurements and the mat wasn't fit. It wasn't fitting appropriately. So I had to go back and take off a little bit more on all the corners in order to make this work. So I'm almost finished. I'm just um, cutting the artwork that I already applied to foam board. I applied it to the foam board in order to give just a little more dimension. As y'all know, I don't have those matte slants that are usually on the matte board when you're, when you're using a matte cutter so I'm thinking a few different techniques will kind of throw the eye off and no one will really notice. Okay. 
Okay, all finished. I love the way this has came out. Um, it, I will say that this frame is heavy. Once all that wood and all that embellishment was added, it was an extremely heavy piece of artwork and frame. So it, even to a point where I threw a part of my back out trying to get it up the stairs and hang it. But it was well worth it because it looks great. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and to subscribe. Um, and I can be found on social media everywhere at DearHomie and DearHomie.com. Bye, guys.